quickly. I find it really interesting your comments about the uh, Tyson Fury and Wilder, how it was very controversial. Now that maybe we all had time to analyze the fight, would you compare and contrast what was the biggest rivalry between Fury, Wilder, and Triple G Cornell, the first one, in terms of the drugs? Uh, well, I, I think that sometimes the, this, this business of boxing and uh, the political part of it, um, they seem to choose what's best for the sport uh, instead of what's best for the, the fight in that situation. Uh, Wilder uh, couldn't figure out the puzzle that was Tyson Fury. Uh, he made Tyson made a couple mistakes, got dropped, but uh, that's one round. That's two rounds of where he got dropped, so that's only one point. I felt that Tyson Fury won the fight 115-111, uh, and it's unfortunate these kind of these kind of situations damage our sport, uh, just like in the in the Canelo DDG fight. As a victim of bad decision as a trainer, what can you do or propose in terms of judges? Because I've seen a couple of posts online saying that maybe we should have former boxers be judges because they are, they're known in and out in terms of judging. What's your take on that? Well, my, my take is, and I've, I've said this a long, long time ago, I said that the judges need to be judged themselves. There used to be, there should be a panel, an overseeing panel that judges each fight and each judge for the fights that they do on their competence and what they've done. Once you start uh, uh, putting a number to their performance, all of a sudden they're moving up a ranking. So we have the best ranked judges doing the best fights. Just like they're doing football and baseball. Based on the importance of the fight in the heavyweight division, do you think Wilder Fury 2 is more uh, more demanding than uh, Wilder Joshua? I think that the, the fans right now want to see uh, the, the rematch. I think that the rematch, there's things unanswered, uh, questions unanswered. I think the rematch will, will answer some questions and the winner can fight Joshua later. But I think that uh, this fight was so compelling and so controversial that I think it has to happen again. We have Terrence Crawford right now in the building. The best fighter in the world. Of course. Right now there's a proposal between him and Amir Khan. Do you think he gets um, credibility if he beats Amir Khan knowing that he already has a couple of losses in his career? Well, of course. Amir Khan is a, a, an exceptional fighter. Amir Khan has had some unfortunate ups and downs, but uh, he's still a very, very good fighter. I think that uh, a matchup between them uh, would be a great fight. Thank you for your time, Abel. Thank you. Thank you.